about uh, something under 10 miles from the end of the runway at Edwards. Altitude is 10,000 feet. It is uh, traveling at something around 500 miles an hour. Commander Dan Brandenstein and pilot John Creighton are at the controls. Discovery's week-long mission was called 100% effective by NASA earlier today. Its seven-man crew included a Saudi prince and a French Air Force pilot. Winds are said to be slight on the dry lake bed that is used as the landing field for the space shuttle at Edwards. What you are hearing is communications from NASA. Airspeed uh, 290 knots. 3,000 feet altitude, 3,000 feet even. Uh, two miles from the end of the runway. 1,000 feet altitude. Sink rate is now uh, 70 feet per second. Gear are down. It is just after daybreak from the runway. in California. Uh, 86 feet. Uh, gear are down and locked. And we have touchdown at mission elapsed time, seven days, one hour, 38 minutes, and 50 seconds. Touchdown exactly as NASA had scheduled it at 9.12 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And, uh, we expect the rollout margin to be uh, 4,500 feet and 15% braking. Uh, we'll stop at uh, seven days, one hour. So after a week-long mission in which it launched three communications satellite, it launched and retrieved an astronomy satellite, as well as became involved in the first Star Wars experiment involving a laser beam into space, the shuttle Discovery and its seven-man international crew is down. 18 days from now will be the next shuttle mission, the 19th for NASA when the shuttle Challenger heads on a week-long Skylab mission. Bob Jamison, NBC News, New York. ...crew touched down safely at Edwards Air Force Base in California. But as the shuttle rolled to a stop, it dug a gash six inches deep in the sandy runway. NASA said that could indicate continued problems with Discovery's brakes, something that has plagued almost every shuttle flight. However, an inspection showed no brake damage, and NASA termed the mission a success.